Welcome back to another Shotcut video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning how to apply filters and effects to your video clips. So to get started, I'm just going to bring in a video clip, and I've got one here on my computer. We'll just do this one right here. So it starts playing the video. I can pause it by pressing the spacebar. And to do, so right now we have the playlist opened up, but that's just for me. Um, your layout might be different. It seems like different versions have different things. There's these tabs at the bottom we've kind of touched on a little bit. So filters is one of the tabs. And it it's just called filters. You apply a filter to a video clip, either an audio filter or a video filter, and that will produce an effect. There's certain filters for like cropping and resizing and rotating. There's filters for color. There's filters to increase the audio. So it's called filters in Shotcut. Another way to get to filters is to click up on the filters at the top and it just does the same thing. It brings up the same thing as if you just click on the filters tab. And like we've kind of talked about in the past, if we left click on this filters, we can actually move it to a different part of the interface. And then if it gets closed and we click filters again up top, it just appears where it last was at. So um, just know that yours might not be exactly where mine is. These tabs can trade places. But the Filters tab is where we get to all the effects. Okay, so to add an effect, we actually just click on this plus sign. And um, so it brings up by default all these favorites. And then you can search by just video effects and just audio effects. Um, in this video, we're just going to be covering the video effects. And so just to show you kind of what's going on here, we're going to add like this color grading one. All we do is just left click on it and it applies the filter. And so then we can change some of the settings for this filter. We can adjust uh, some of the coloring. So this is like an extreme coloring we've done. And actually, if you notice, I'm applying this to a clip in my source. So it's not really applied, but there's not really anything in the timeline. It's just showing me what this would look like. And then if I add this down to the timeline, it adds it in with this effect applied to it. Um, another thing we can do here, well, I'll just show you actually. If we just split this right now, we click this button here, and we split it into two separate clips, both clips have the effect applied to it because any, any clip that has uh, a filter or an effect applied to it will just uh, keep that even if it becomes split or moved around. So if you want to increase the audio, for example, um, which we'll cover in the next video, you would increase it on the entire clip you bring in before making any edits or cuts to it. But now that these are separate, now we could change them. We can change and have them be different colors. So now we have you know, the red and then the green. Um, something to pay attention to as well, whatever clip is selected is the one you're going to be editing effects for, not the clip that's being viewed. So right now we're on the project tab, we're viewing what's in our project, we can hit spacebar and play it. And we're looking at this green here, but if we want to come over and change the color and make it a little bit more red, we move over here and nothing's happening. Well that's because even though we're looking where our playhead is at, the clip that's selected is this one over here. So we're making changes to that one, we're just not viewing the changes that we're making. If you want to see what we're changing while we're changing it, we have to move the playhead over here to the clip that's selected. And now when we make changes, it'll, you know, it'll show in there. Uh, if we want to, we can add multiple effects at once. If we want to apply another effect over top of this, we just click the plus sign again, and we can add like a blur maybe. And so the blur has different settings obviously because it's a different effect, different filter. And so this one, we can just make the whole thing really blurry and just get kind of crazy with it. And now we have this kind of blurry colored video. Um, also, you may have noticed it kind of slows down. The more effects we add, and depending on your computer specs, um, it will it may not render as quickly in, in playback, like right now. But when we actually export the video, it'll be full speed. It won't have that lagginess to it. Um, if we find maybe we want to get rid of the uh, this blur effect and, and go back, we can just uh, click the minus button and it gets rid of whatever one selected. Let me bring back another one though so that we have two because I want to show you something else. We can do like this glow one maybe. So it adds a glow. You can kind of see what it's doing. And to kind of and if we want to see exactly what it's doing, we can just check the box to the, to the left of it. Right now it's checked. If we uncheck it, it takes the effect off, but it still keeps it over here. Um, under, you know, so we can take this off and see what our original looks like without actually deleting the, the filter or the effect that we're, we're using. So I'm going to check both of these. We can see what it looks like. And so it, sometimes maybe you want to just see what it looks like before you start doing the coloring. But then when you go to export, you just check this and make sure that they're all applied. 
I've reloaded this clip and I've cleared out all the filters and I actually brought in four more clips because I want to show you um, another feature we can do with these filters and that is copying a filter and applying it to multiple clips. So we'll come back here to this first one we'll just go add and we can just type in up here too. So there's one called like film grain or film dust. It's this old film gives it like this old film look. I'll apply this. It's really small here but I'll make it a little bit bigger and extreme just to kind of show, you know, illustrate what's going on here. Whoa. So now when we play, we see all this kind of film dust happening on there. Let's go back. And if we want to apply this to multiple clips, we can just come over here. While we have the clip selected that has the filter applied to it, we hover over and there's this icon that says copy the filters. We click copy, and that'll actually copy all the filters. We only have one applied, so it doesn't really matter. But it does copy all of them to be aware of that. And then we'll come over here to this next clip that doesn't have any filters and then hit the paste icon. And now this one should have the same filter with the same settings that we gave it. So it gives it a consistent feel across all of it. We come to this one, do the same thing. Come to this one, do the same thing. And now our whole project is going to have this uh, old film look to it. And so that's a way that you can apply multiple filters if you do have split up and different clips, but you want them to all have the same filter. Like there's a good one too that's like a white balance that you use pretty commonly. Um, so for white balance, if you're, if all your clips are shot the same day and in the same location, but you want to have them have a consistent look, you can adjust the white balance um, accordingly. And um, oops, that one's not. Oh, we we applied white balance to this one. So that, that's an, an example of something what I was talking about just not to do, where we were uh, making changes to the clip without looking at. It. So this is the white balance here that we can see make it you know much warmer or much uh, colder. Anyway, hopefully you found this video informative. In the next one, we're going to talk more about filters and specifically applying audio filters and working with audio in our timeline. So hopefully you found this informative. Go ahead and play around with filters. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave your questions below, and I'll catch you in the next video.